So come here. Come here. Stop it. Get out of that left lane. Left lane is for passing. This is, is the Kevin Trudeau Show. I am exposing the corruption in government and in major multinational corporations. We're telling you the things that they don't want you to know that will make your life better. So buckle up and get ready for this spectacular training. Number one, driving. For everybody who drives a car, most of you don't know how to drive a car. I am a car driving expert, not just because I have gone through the most advanced high speed chase evasion driving technique schools on the planet at covert secret location, locations done by covert secret agencies. But the fact that I have a brain, that's why I'm a good driver. So let me just tell you a couple things about driving, ladies and gentlemen, please. It's gonna make it safer for you and whoever's driving in your car and make it safer for everybody else. Rule number one, okay. So rule number one, when you're driving, any time and every time you change lanes or make a turn, Put your directional on plenty of time in advance. 90% of people change lanes without using their directional. Half the people take a right or a left and don't use the directional. Where I grew up, we called it a blinker. That's dumb. A directional, I think, is better. But I grew up, we called it a blinker. It's the little device that if you move it up and down, it'll go click, 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 and it'll, it'll flash so the guy behind you or the guy in front of you knows you're getting ready to change lanes or you're getting ready to take a right or a left. God, use your directionals. When I'm driving, I just know no one's going to use their directional and they'll shift lanes without informing me and I'm right behind them. So if I... So rule number one is use your directional. Rule number two, if you're driving, know that nobody is gonna use their directional. So you have to figure, if you're on the right and a car's here, that this idiot is gonna shift lanes and not tell you by using their directional. Prepare, you will be a better driver. Just know, the guy's a moron. Guy is not gonna put on his directional and he'll probably just do this and then see me at the last minute and go, oh! Because he's an idiot. Okay, so number one, use your directional. Always, I'm driving home, there's not a car behind me. And I turn right, guess what I do? I put on my directional. Kevin, who are you putting on the directional for? There's nobody in front of you and there's nobody behind you. There's nobody coming this way. Why are you using your directional? Because it is a habit. I always use my directional if I'm shifting lanes regardless of who's behind me, who's to the left, who's to the right, or who's in front. If I'm changing lanes and there's nobody for 50 miles, I am using my damn directional because it is the habit you have to get into. You use it all the time. Use a directional. Rule number two when driving, the left lane. And it doesn't matter if there's two lanes or if you're on a freeway and there's three, four, or five lanes. The left lane is for passing only. If you're in the left lane and there's nobody in front of you, and there's nobody to the right of you, and, you're, and somebody comes behind you, and you look and go, I'm going the speed limit. You're an idiot. Okay? So come here. Come here. Stop it! Get out of that left lane. Left lane is for passing. For those of you who are in Germany, God bless you. When I was in Germany, I was on the Autobahn. And I'm in the left lane. 
and I'm going 120 kilometers an, an hour or whatever, and maybe that's 400 miles an hour. I, I don't know what it was, but it was fast. And this Porsche is coming up, because I'm looking in my rear view. Porsche starts coming up, and he flashes his lights. He's not being rude. He's nicely telling me, excuse me, sir, may I please pass? And I move over into the right lane and I realize I shouldn't have even been in the left lane because I wasn't passing somebody. It's for overtaking. And he cruised along. And so rather than me pull into the left lane, I said, no, I'm not passing anyone. I'm going fast enough. And I stayed in that second lane. And then I watched cars zoom by. So if you're in the left lane, it is for overtaking and passing. So if you're in the left lane and you pass somebody, then move like that. That's it. You don't stay in this lane. Never stay in this lane unless you're overtaking somebody. Now, with the rare exception is, well, Kevin, my, my exit's coming up over that way, so I have to be in this lane. That's fine. Use your directional. Make sure you use your directional. Next, and lastly, of Driver Training 101. The rear view mirror is not an ornament. It's not for decoration. Neither are the side mirrors. They are to be used. When you're driving, one of the things that we did when I was in my advanced covert secret driving training was as you're driving, the instructor is sitting next to you and you have to give him a running commentary there's a blue Ford sedan behind me. There's a silver van to my left coming up. You'll be overtaking. To my right, there's nothing coming toward me. You would be giving a running commentary of what's to the left of you, what's to the right of you, and what's behind you. And you'd be giving a running commentary of what you see in front of you. Is there a stop sign coming up? Is there a set of lights coming up? Is there a curve coming up? I would do this for freaking hours. Why? The training was be aware. Some people call it driving training. My uncle later told me, what type of training did you go through? And I said, well, I thought I was going to driver training. And then I realized I was going to conscious awareness training, being aware of my surroundings and being in present time. Because I can't be thinking about yesterday, who I'm going to call, what I'm going to have for dinner or tomorrow, while I'm giving this running commentary to this guy. Does that make sense? I have to be spot on, right on the money. You don't have to be that fanatical. But the driving tip is when you're driving, look in your rearview mirror, kind of always know what's to the left, what's coming up, always know what's coming up to the right, and always know who's behind you and how fast they're going. That allows you to get more data and drive better. And then look in front of you. Most people look about 10 feet in front of the car looking at the road. A professional driver will look here. They'll be looking down the road and then go here and then here. Mostly and then here and then here. So their, their eye, if you watch the eye of a professional driver when he's driving, he's not looking at the end of his hood. He's only looking at the end of his hood and 10 feet in front when he's making a curb or something, if he has to be real precise on where the wheels are. But otherwise, he's looking 200 yards down the road. So he has a greater perspective and allows the brain to react faster. Look, I'm giving you stuff, man. You should be char I should, you should be sending me thousands of dollars for this life-changing information on how to drive. But not just how to drive. If you notice what I'm giving you, I'm giving you training on increasing your consciousness and awareness, as well as your safety. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and share this with everyone you know. I'm Kevin Trudeau. Looking forward to seeing you Wednesday, 1 o'clock, Chicago time.